talking about Ernest and had some very, very physical demonstrations. Now let's talk about another sport that the country is very, very good at. Uh, the Filipinos are very, very good at. This is Taekwondo. And what's interesting is I have a Taekwondo instructor here who's not exactly Filipino and he had a very interesting journey towards it. I have again Michael Croman. Hi, Michael. Hi. You're a Czech citizen? Yes, that's right. Uh, and uh, now it's, it's funny that you chose Asian sports or martial arts. To excel at why is that and that's the same like Filipinos more interested in foreign martial arts really yeah so we foreign are more interested in Asian martial arts okay so let's like, uh, talk about uh, our niece which you demonstrated earlier um, how how many years for you to get into that I've been studying Taekwondo for actually 17 years uh, that's Taekwondo what yeah about and Arnis until now um, like 10 years 10 years why Taekwondo first? What was it about the sport that uh, attracted you? Well, even Taekwondo is um, popular in Europe, um, even so in my country, and that was the first choice. Okay, and uh, again, Taekwondo, if I'm, if I'm, the way of like the hand and kick? Uh, well, and Taekwondo go? is the, one of the martial arts who are using up to 80% uh, foot or legs. That means it's about 80% kicking, less than hands. Do you like it more for, for a practical sense or because of the tournament sense? It's both. Um, it depends on where you learn it. Um, some schools they prefer uh, more on tournament. There are two ways of tournaments. There are Pumse tournaments, that means you're walking forms. And yeah, that's the one where yes. you, you memorize. Yeah, that's it. And the second part is the full contact tournament. Yeah, this is the striking already. Yes. That's why uh, when you see people in the gears in tournaments, they're That's like right. the blue circles in both the sides. It's, it's a target. It's where you're supposed to hit fully yes. to get a full point. That's right, yeah. Okay. Well, people would say uh, Taekwondo in a practical sense is not so uh, well, practical. Well, um, actually, um, you know, the time changed in the Asian time it was still taekwondo was still a uh, an warrior art mm -hmm. but uh, they changed it to a sportive art so now you can say it's more on sport okay it's more of a sport than a practical self defense type yes uh, but let me say um, i don't want to disappoint my uh, instructor but um, it depends on the instructor yeah. um, because there's still some things you can pick up from Taekwondo yes, that yes, you can use. Yes, of course. Use. Uh, you have very good senses. The reaction time is very good and mm -hmm. you're quite fast and uh, you're sensible yeah. for the moves. And um, it's, it has a uh, self-defense part. It's called Okay. And um, it can be useful. But I must say, again and again, it depends on the instructor. And it depends on the student who picks it up and how they'll use what they pick up. Also, yeah. So now in the Philippines, you are an instructor as well. You teach it. Uh, yes, um, I'm teaching at the gym at my master instructor, Sir Pet. And, mm -hmm. um, what level do you teach? Because uh, again, it's by belt, from all white levels. all the way to black. All levels. All levels, Yes. from basic to black dance. Yes. To the dance. I'm trying to remember, because I only reached high yellow. <laughs> I wasn't able to continue it anymore because I got pregnant. <laughs> oh. But uh, again, uh, yeah, in the Philippines, it's one of the things that we excel at. And uh, later on in the demonstration, this is not exactly the... Am I saying it right? Gi? No. Uh, no, it's a different in, term. Um, the, the problem is some countries, they're using uh, not the right uh, words. Um, actually, I learned it to use the Korean pronunciation. Yeah. And the Korean pronunciation for this is Tobok. Tobok, yes. The to yeah, not the Gi. Gi is for, um, what do you call this? It's uh, Gi is Japanese. Yeah. And, uh, and it's more for grappling. That's why I, I, I'm mixing my martial arts. <laughs> okay. And uh, later on, we'll have some more demonstrations and we'll get to see these guys again in action. We just need to take a little breather, take a little break, especially after seeing Michael's face get slammed on the floor. But apparently, they were assuring me that everything is controlled. Well, later, we're going to see them in action again, so don't go away. Michael, thank you very much. Shika will be right back. And we're back 
I'm definitely dressed in appropriately for this particular segment of our morning show. But uh, first of all, we're going to have some Taekwondo demonstration, and these are called the forms or the. Tegu. Tegu. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, you can't 